so one thing that was really great was <laughs> that you could set up a macro to do what I'm about to do and do repetitive um, strokes if you were just highlighting a certain area you could draw it in and just leave the machine to do that over <coughs> the five ten seconds yes. which is great and using the paintbrush uh, airbrush rather you could select the different size nozzles going back to that amazing kind of like um, airbrush effect that they they were the only people that did mm. this and you could start off with very very gently so as soon as I bring the pen near to the proximity of that palette you can see the cursor comes mm. up and it's about 10 millimeters and then if you very gently press you could get this effect I mean, it did shudder a little bit there and if I press harder you can see the flow really come through which was you know amazing and then you can change the nozzle size as well so you can get exactly the same sort of thing but with a different size no nozzle and that's great for rotoscoping and mm. different kind of blended effects but you could also change the percentage so you can ramp it up and down by moving the cursor up and down the screen so you don't have to numerically mm. enter it again that's just time saving isn't it and then you get a much much more subtle yeah, effect that's nice. You couldn't animate that lighter, darker, but it was still pretty, pretty good. Um, that could be done. And then there's painting, crisp, smooth, blur field. Again, you could do that with these different airbrush effects. So you could sharpen up an image, couldn't you? If it was um, something that was a little bit out yeah, of focus yeah, or yeah. You, could, you could soften things that maybe you needed to kind of setting back um, mm. especially like news graphics couldn't you? you could kind of have that diffused look on and one smudge, side the smudges if you wanted the lettering if you to wanted to be, yeah go slightly blurry at the edges wasn't yeah it? you could yeah. push it across so you could do um let's have a look delete cuts and just start off with a new piece of text um go and type me something in Okay, and you can cut that out, and then turning off 3D and wiping. So you could start. I've lost it again. Where was it? Stick smear, smudge. So with the rat, you could buy and sell this to your 3D. I think with your background, so you could wipe that, turn backgrounds off. So you've just got white here, and you could sell different frames that you generate on the paint book side mm. to the ram quarter side. Mm. And one of the very fashionable sort of trends there were was basically, if I can remember how to do it. So you could do this. Is it going to do it? That's very subtle, so subtle. That's smearing, isn't it? Maybe it was only that stamp. It's stamping it. Oh, it's stamp is the stamp. one you were talking about. Yeah. The smudge, though, was where you could yeah. use the pen Nearly on it. Yeah, so if you take that down in transparency, which is, again, you could do that with text as well, and do, can you see that? Yeah. It's a fair, yeah. And obviously, to a less degree, making it a little bit more. And you could ramp up the size of the text here, not oh. necessarily having to add it when you keyed it in. It's just sticking for a second. So this... Yeah, I mean, this effect was just great for um, doing little bumpers or for, you know, MTV, they used a lot of this. And we would have, um, you know, just different effects like this sort of thing, but they pop it in with maybe a, a, a kind of type of weekend. Maybe it was like a heavy metal weekend and they'd make, they create their own bumper. Um, and they bolt that in with their package, their promo that they were making. So smear that and oops, it's much rigid, it's stamp. And back up to 100. Okay, so you could sell that if I make it a little bit smaller. Where's this size? Yeah, I think you could do this as well. Is that clicking it on? You could do that and then sell this. I'm not sure on this because these buttons are it's a bit foggy. Mm. As to selling that to that frame, I'm going to save it in here just in case I mess it up. Selling and buying, so we'd sell a picture, of one frame, and you'd sell it or send it to your your RAM quarter. So that would be down here, and there there it is. It's 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 being sold down onto that RAM quarter. So it transports it from the paint box side 
through to sort of the, anim the option to have this animating side. So you could sell that. And then if you had taken in a background that had uh, like a, you know, a light source flashing across it, you could then buy in the next one of that and then you're directly adding this texture or this, this typography to that next still. Next and so you'd buy that one in, do the graphics, sell it. And so it's like a very quick kind of way to toggle through um, a clip and create it like a bumper. Is it, it was it sell because um, on commercials, every time you hit the sell button, it added five quid to the bill? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Actually, at MPC, before, at MPC it been, that is it? very likely yeah. exactly what they did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was a, oh, that, yeah. So, so this is the sort of effect you could do and I'm doing this very and that quickly. that was used in, in uh, advertising all the time. Yeah. For the, the, you know, the building up. When they had a sale, and it was like Selfridges or something, a sale, you'd have the name go, bub, 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 and then come out big. Come the, out. Um, I'm doing something. I mean, you know, it's very simple, sophisticated looking on screen, but very simple to do. Yeah, effective. And, and eye-catching and dynamic, it was really... And cheap. And cheap. Because it's just... They'd, <laughs> I, I would have been quicker than I am doing it now because I would have just yeah, confirmed. See, it's, it's weird because you have to double-click everything. Have you noticed? Mm. I think the next version didn't have that confirm wipe, confirm stick. So, if Is that not in the preferences? You can turn that on and off. I don't know. I have a feeling it Is might. it? So... You know, double-click to confirm. So, round corner. Where is the so preference? Is there preferences two. that you're allowed to do or is that only the engineers can do it? No, you can. So, the... If I, I think I loaded that, yeah. Um. Oh, with the preference in the library, isn't I it? I think that is, yeah, yeah. library. Did that sell it? And then, I'd like to sell that one to number two. There we go, I've done it. So you can access, you have a, just two little stores and you can either go, you can toggle between them and like what Mitch is saying is that it, you evolve a graphic so it has more and more layers, it has more and more text, uh, you, you add more effects, airbrush boxes, bevels until you've got a finished kind of um, compilation of effects. But if you want to go back, the way you'd have worked this is you'd save every pass, save that to the library as a picture. But if you're working on those next two le le levels, then you would have saved it to old and... Uh, it used to be old and new, didn't it? Now oh, it's yes. one and two. Mm -hmm. Hang on, is it? Yeah, it's one and two here. So it used to be old and... Oh, wait, it's the other way around. So you'd have the option to kind of restore back a bit, going, getting the um, Quantel to restore back one of those pictures, mm -hmm. parts of those pictures, wouldn't it? So you could kind of evolve almost a third picture. So you had the two separate images and you could kind of make a hybrid out of those two and save that into one or two. So it's like a little sort of self-storage that you had the option to kind of interact with. Mm. And if I've done that, ish, so stick, uh, I think that's, yeah, three. And you could, I think you could probably, you know, do stuff in this one, but in 3D, it was, it was more of a raw kind of look as opposed to the kind of DVE effect that, um, you had in with the RAM corder in the 3D option. In the difference between this and probably Harriet, did you not have a colour fettle? I know, no, no, oh God, fettle. I remember that from Colourful. Harry though. Harry, that's what Harry I meant, sorry, Harry. Fettle, which yes. is colour grading. So what we could do on, well, actually, cast. Yeah, you did, look, there we go. So you can, mm. the whole thing you can ramp up on the RGBs, you can uh, gain, colour gain, um, you can, yeah, there's the lum lumen luminance and chrominance, so that's a saturation of all over. You can do going for that kind of colour correction or the contrast or the brightness or the hue. So the hue is like a hor horizontal rotation, so. Well, brightness, um Brightness, saturation, and hue, of course, is one of the, is the alternative colour system to RGB. To, so yeah. the, the contrast was their own little addition. But yeah. ig ignoring that, that, that's one of the basic um, colour mixing systems. You could do a few natty little things called posterise. And I think it 
uh, all. I'm not sure, but oh, yeah, there was a colour ma map as well, wasn't there? And I think it looked, basically, it looked at your palette. So whatever you had in your palette, it would then charge that um, with the light to the dark, and it would sort of work out whatever light and dark was in your, your um, palette here and replace those. Um, and original all. I thought there were some other ones, so use the Kia as well, you can do that. Oh, that's Mosaic, that's it. So well, the squares. The squares. <laughs> you could have a really... Oh, look like at it, wait pixels, for this. Like big pixels. Wait for this. <laughs> you could either do it with the pen, so you could... Oh, yep, yeah, that's okay, you have to do it as a square. So there we go, you could get that kind of effect in. And if you animated that, so imagine that going from very pixely to, to, to smaller pixels, to smaller, 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 and then that text is also animating. It's quite natty. It's quite, quite, isn't it? It's quite good. <laughs> um, so, uh, oh, love that. And what else is there? Field mode, that just stopped flickering. If you grab mm. something and there was between frames of fields, fields it was, yeah. Uh, and no, no, we have got Colour Festival. Oh, I feel awful now. I didn't see that. So that, that was, what, that's what yeah. you used then? That was in Harry. So mm. that's Harry. So it was it, what was first? Harry was first. Paint box. Yeah. Then Harry. Then Harry. Then Henry. And then the other two, whatever. Then Harriet, Hal, and Edipus. And it's, I don't know what order or anything. I only know up to Harry. So you could invert stuff here, invert all. Yeah, you can. I mean, this is this was good, wasn't it? It was quite kind of unusual to have this this option. Do you know? I I think that maybe you see save in computer te technologies that saving your entire set, save, saving the project as it were. And I think that they were differentiating, because there is a save somewhere in the, in the library, isn't there a save? Yeah. Um, I think that the Mark. selling, selling and buying, is the, the image that you're creating to the store for the images, as opposed to saving, On the which is order. saving the project, including mm -hmm. the component parts that make. So when you do the buy and sell, it's only the finished image. To but when order. you do save, it's all the component parts that make that image. I think that is what the difference is. <laughs> you're saying that that library save pick goes to the MO. Is that what you're saying? And that's elements, but the it's a different thing. Cell is, cell cell is, to is to differentiate cell, cell is going when, to that RAM recorder. Yeah, cell is only going to the RAM recorder. Yeah. And it, it's, but it's not going to load. But it is to the finished. Library. It's finished video yeah. frames. Yeah. And the other one is saving. Elements. You know the whole. Well, well it's saving the, the the digital setup, as it were, as opposed to video frames. I think. You know, you're jazzing up one frame, adapting it, and selling it right back to the place that it was on, so it's updated, and you'd buy it in, and then adapt it, and then sell it back on top of the, the exact same place. So you'd have. So that buy, buying and selling would be completed finished yeah. video frames but saving would be saving the, the project as a library were. Save, so yeah. it would be saving all the elements and a digital thing so the, the 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 saved thing would only be usable by the paint box but the sold thing would be what you would put on air and what you'd play yeah it. yeah you play out to tape and that was correct yeah yeah Come on. The library is, like you say, you can save pictures, you can save stencils, which are the little windows that you can create effects. You can save the cutouts. Mm. You can but save... they're all pin box These media. are elements. Only it's, usable by these the These are box. These are the elements. So palettes, cells, sequences, keyframes, colours, curves, everything of that. All the components that you're making your picture from can get be saved on the disc. So and none of that. the saves would be any use to the producer that you were doing no, the job for. It's only for they are, they are things that belong to you yeah. as the operator to create what the producer wants. And if you want to go the back and change want, it, his product is the sell. And yeah. in a way, you could see an analogy there that you know it's in a shop. You're selling what you what you give to the client. You sell to the client. This is the fine. This is your it's product, and this thing. is what you sell. But you can't sell them all the bits. No. So when you're making a you, you know when a carpenter is making something, he, he, using all those tools and the paints, you can't give those. The, 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 the client's not interested in those. He is interested in the final picture or you know yeah. drawer that you've made.
Oh, Shall I tell you a really funny? I did fall asleep once on night shift. Did you? <laughs> and I went, it was the first time I'd done night shift. And I fell asleep. I left something processing on the howl. And I just went like that. And I fell asleep. And it, it had, used to say howl there. And um, the designer came into the room. And uh, we were, he was like my mentor because this was when I first became a designer. And uh, he said, how are you doing now? And I was like, oh, yeah, fine, fine, absolutely. Yeah, it's just processing. Oh, look, it's finished. He goes, let's have a look. And I went, there we go. And I played it out. And he went, oh, that looks really nice. I went, oh, he goes, how are you coping with night shift? I said, yeah, no, fine, fine. He goes, you've got Hal embedded on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't lie, yeah. <laughs> I like, just adapt. So I do it on here. Oh, yeah, adapt. <laughs> So adapt. Just adapt. Adapty. <laughs> I am pressing it. It's just adapt. Yeah, I know. Television. 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 Oh, adapt. Just, just adapt. Adapt. TV. Just adapt. 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 ADHD. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> they used oh, to God, be. I'm going to be a very bad client here. Isn't it? <laughs> Why? Uh, I don't like that blue. Isn't it? So it's on the top and the top left. I don't what know is your colour? What's your? <laughs> yeah, what is the colour of adapt? We don't have a well, your dad. What's your letterhead? We don't even have that. You don't have a letterhead. I have to make the, the letterhead. Oh. <laughs> letterhead. <laughs> Webhead. Oh, where's the size? Any, any, any really Values. Oh, found it. Okay. Uh, oh. I think it is. Is it like that? This, this is actually amazing. Yeah, you know, just, I'm just thinking, this is amazing. This is a very old piece of equipment. I'm talking about the machine, not me. That <laughs> is, comp I mean, this is, she's, you know, now doing a proper job. This is completely working. And it's, what, 30 years old? That is astounding, you know. Because it's, it's so good. It's just built well, isn't it? Well, our man Mark is yeah. our man Mark is a genius, obviously. <laughs> okay, so I've just still yet to remember how to do this because it's the buy and sell thing on the mouse mm. that I'm not. I might have to have a. We'll have a chat. experimental version and then start again. Would be the thing to do, wouldn't okay, it? Start. I just can't quite remember. I just prefer to do this if you weren't all watching because it's tricky. Hang on. No one's looking. Aren't you, Mark? <laughs> I just want, know what I want to do, okay? I just want to clear that ram corder, record to background, load tray, animation, record to background. We can see it, can't you? How do I make that all just be the background, record still? Well, that was it, wasn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so now it's... Oh, wait, okay. I've got it, I think. Why does it not stay within that? Background frames, I just did one, two, 25, yeah. And then go up that end, please, and do load. Picture and call to background. Yeah. Okay. Happy days. That's that, and that's in. That's my background, so I can just. Now I just do. L then it's just stamp some more. Seventy. Tw uh, too many. <laughs> 17, mm -hmm. I don't, I, 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 2001, 17, 17 years ago. And you I did this. Did, I did this. <laughs> but it's sadly very, very, it just shows how good this machine was and that, you know, it's, well, it's for operating wise, it's yeah. just. User interface is, is really. So. <sighs> intuitive. Yeah. So I'm going to do a little animation um, in an MTV rough and ready styley, <laughs> um, where I can take the text from generated from the paint box, different sizes, and I can use that stamp and smudge and 
varying degrees to give it a kind of a, a rough animation. So again, if you press down, it does set the uh, transparency has to be set here. It's not like with the pen and airbrush. Yeah. You can't kind of ask it to be less or more by pressure. Um, it has to be sort of preset here. And so that's a little bit too strong. So I'm going to go in and just do a few frames by hand animating with adapt and then possibly yeah I'm gonna buy and sell that so we're gonna sell it to the RAM quarter so that's the first frame so that's gone down it's actually gone down in frame four but I'll start it at frame one um, so we can do a few more stamping effects and we can kind of build it up in density and size so zoom that in and So you just got to watch the text there. Can you see that? There's no the Apple Z, mm. so <laughs> you just work it into the design <laughs> and get, take that off. And so that's taken the next frame. So you can see. Oh, okay. It's going from five. Okay, that's me. So you can make it jump around and give this sort of animated effect. And it's nice to like I say, a little bumper or a little uh, logo ident bit of nattiness. I'm trying to think of a show in the 80s that had this sort of thing on terrestrial. Um, it, it, I knew a title. It was, uh, it was one of those talk shows. It was, it was a Lunt Weekend talk show, not Parkinson. Who was the other guy? Russell. No, Russell something? Russell Harty. <laughs> Russell Harty had these titles. Yeah, so you can go on and you can change colours with this as well. You can stamp it. Change the sizes. And just build it up. But you always had to swipe. You, I was, yeah, you always... That's it. it would never take the menu, that's the good thing. It would just never do that. So you can get that kind of idea of it sort of jogging around, mm. coming from size and coming up and then being really agitated and then peeing back. So it's, it, it actually, it, it, well, it's not the best ever, but there's no machine ever done, been better than it for the soft, where you have things overlapping and they double up. That, that softness is as good as any machine's ever. People have equaled it, but they've never bettered it, have they? No. For th this, what you've built up there, where two go on top of each other and get darker. And a lot of machines no, don't do that additive effect very well. No. So that's... Hmm. So uh, this is going to be very, very fast. Yep. There we go. <laughs> but you can, get, you can carry on building this up. Mm. And and then presumably you've one at the <laughs> end that's just solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it kind of flickers that. around and then solid just, solidifies yeah. as a title. As so well. I lost that. I lost that main um, colour then. So I can just go back in and pull it back up again. Sample it. Yeah. Jeez. This is gone again. Come on. Uh, You're already quite wrong. fast. Uh, yeah, I am. Again, I've just done something. You, after one and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm doing something now that I can't work out what I've done. Stencil, stamp, this smear. Is it? I'm just waiting to sell that when I've got a, the cutout back on the right place I'm gonna to have to ask Mark <laughs> that's I'm doing something but I can't remember what it was so I'm gonna sell that now it's one button and it'll sell this picture to the RAM corder and bring me the next picture back up which is a white frame and I can't remember this bit 
to, I'm trying to pull that colour back up to be a solid. Was it that? Okay, yeah, there we go. There used to be, there was another machine maybe where you just tapped a colour into the box for that to be, the cutout to be that colour, I think. So I just buy and sell so, so you can just build that up. You know how like when film goes through a gate and, mm. and it kind of rolls, like the Channel 4 I don't at the moment, you know, the Film, film mm. 4 one, mm. Mm. and it goes through like a, as if it's going through a, like a building mm -hmm. and then it's sort of unregistered and then it kind of comes back and that, that sort of effect you can get. This is lock. Yeah, mm. yeah. So this is a style that you could do with this machine and this looks really nice. And typography, I mean, it's just, in its own right, it's just fantastic. Because you could go in and you could affect each letter, all its global spacing, its kerning, you yeah. could alter each size of each letter individually. So yeah. you could have like Helvetica yeah. and just, you know, adapt word, but you could have, you know, the A bigger than the, the D, bigger than, yes. and make your own typeface. You could, I yeah. think you can actually reverse some letters individually. But I mean, that's on the later paintballs. But so you could make a logo really easily and mm. not have to put up with, you know, that kind of um, kerning that was that came from when you know from Quantel. It's just not. I don't know why whether this is a glitch or whether it's me. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Buying and selling each frame. I'm still doing it. But I mean, the thing is, is that that I could go. What I could do now, after this, I could sell and buy this one in. I could then go back over this and just say I don't feel that it's, you know, it's got that energy. It hasn't got that feel. So I could then add another another layer to that. So I can go through and say, yeah, it's nice, but it's a little bit too busy. I want to diffuse it a bit more. Put a bit more white text on it. I could put a vignette on it. I could add, you know, build up layers now from this process and add more and more layers to it. So it's not, that's not finished. I can then work on that layer with cutouts, with more text. So it kind of evolves in, in, in whatever the sort of producer or whoever you're working for likes. For me, journalists were very, did you work journal? You wouldn't have. It's a journalist. We're very last minute. Dot com. I want this look, and it's due in four minutes. Mm. And so you'd have like a, a backup of resources. Um, you'd have maps. You'd have you had an effects tape. You had different master stencils. You had stuff that you can kind of your go tos so that you can build and compile a graphic that would probably have taken like an hour in four minutes. You just kind of have those sort of things by your side um, and they were yeah they were they were tricky people and then there was people that there were clients that you know like you're saying the kind of the, with all the clients that I had behind me you know were willing to spend hours days on a highlight and you know prepare to pay prepare silly I think money for the that. Ag the agency creatives mm -hmm. um, the, the, these were really priced in the early days, certainly pr priced very high. The suites were very expensive. Yeah. Um, and a, a lot of these creatives, you know, you'd get to the point where you really had fulfilled the brief, but they just wanted to go yeah. on and on and on. And yeah. the thing was that a lot of them, it was like they were trying in their heads, they wanted to feel that they'd got their money's worth mm. and they wanted to feel that they had spent a lot and that, 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 it, that, that, that the ad had had the best possible attention and therefore it needed six hours of work, even though at the end of an hour, you know, done. somebody yeah. working like this can, can, as you're seeing this being done, very rapidly do it and maybe inside an hour completely fulfill the brief and in fact surpass it. But they still, you know, they said it was going to take a day and it damned yeah. if it wasn't. And so they would do finigly stuff about, well, is that the right green? And you quite often, you know, you, you had to make sure you saved stuff because they would fiddle for two hours and then they'd say, actually, I think Go what you had to start was. was right. <laughs> yeah. Or that you, happened, didn't it? Actually, what, 
but for me, when I was working with producers, that you'd go, uh, you'd offer them something, and then they'd go, mm, can I just see it like this? Yeah. You'd go, yep, sure. So you'd spend all this amount of time going right to where you're about to confirm that they they were wrong and you were right. And they go, no, no, you, no, it's okay. Do it how you're going to do it. And you're like, yeah, sure. <laughs> but that, you know, it's a very it was a yeah it's a, it's a difficult industry working with a lot of creatives creatives are tricky and then people that are very high up that are, that one person that's not creative um causing a kind of a, a little bit of a tension oh well or... there's when the ultimate client comes so <laughs> that when you're doing the mars commercial and you've got all the people from the agency and then on the third of the four days the man from mars comes in yeah. and they're all the you man. know kowtowing to him and he knows nothing about anything that you've done up to now or indeed necessarily how tv works <laughs> and then he would be asking for insane things oh yeah yeah but it was a very as a woman it was a very male filled industry mm. um i think i was probably i i maybe no two other ops when i was doing commercials um so it was quite another another kind of Mm, barrier to get through. Mm. I remember doing um, the Simply Red. Um, it was one. It was a, a music video, and this is where they came. You know, Quantel came into its own. It was just fantastic for special effects. It was set in the fairground, and we had lots of diffuse blurs, um, like that effect they've got at the moment. You know what I mean? When you have red, like it makes people look miniature, so they've mm. got a very oh, sort of yeah, yeah. tight focus here, and then the rest of it is unnecessarily yeah. blurred. Yeah. And the the whole video was was like that. And I spent ages doing it, and they they really really liked it. But they were like, "Oh, who are you? You're a woman, doing this." <laughs> and um, I I was a bit of a you know novelty, um, and that I, I don't think that's been any different all the way through the whole time I've worked actually. I mean, there have obviously been, you know, an amount that go through, but not half as many as, as men. That's, it's yeah. It's just, yeah. yeah. I should nice. probably finish on a... Well, it's not... Full frame I'm, in the middle. Yeah, I, yeah it's not... Really it's the stop, <laughs> is it, right? Can it do just uh, uh, at the end? If it oh, does one last it. little, when it. it goes full frame, if it I did can a carry little on doing jiggle. This for days. Well, no, if it just, <laughs> if you went to the single word full <laughs> frame, but made it have one little jiggle, it's like, so it's going, <laughs> and it just have one bump. I'm just trying what to. doesn't even do. <laughs> to sell that. Is it because I'm on the last frame? Probably, so I'm doing it. Yeah, okay, we've done it. Oops. Oh, that's reappeared. That's <laughs> me, I'm just pressing the wrong... No, fine. <laughs> that should be this one. Confirm it and paste it. Stick it and... So is this, this now is... writing over that other caption? Is that what you're doing I think now? I've gone up to 25. Oh, it's because I went... ...27. This might be something. No, oh, yeah. that was it. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. Very good. Yeah. Like it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> it's just the best. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's a very, I mean, amazing oh. id memoir that, you know, you, you, it all comes back to you, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a little a bit rusty, things. but it is just the best machine. I think mm. it's such a pity that they just, I think they sat back and went, yeah, look what we've done. And they didn't move on with times. And they just, it's such a pity because they could still be mm. running the, running but they, the show. But they didn't it's just, want to do that. That was the thing, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. That's, I still, I mean, you know, you look at Photoshop and that's Photoshop is great. But I'm going to have a real difficulty now when I go home. I'm going to start swiping off. <laughs> well, the swiping is the thing I love. You know, you just the fact I have a Wacom tablet on my Photoshop, it, it's very frustrating that yeah, you can't do that can't because do you just it. want all the menus to vanish. I'd never wear, I'd never wear this. I'd never wear my rings. Mm. I watch. You'd, I'd basically every time I, I sit down, I put my off. watch down. Mm. I take my bracelet off. I'd have a little ritual. Take my rings off, and then, then you could really move quite fast. Mm. And yeah, no, it's been. It's just. 
uh, yeah. I'm, I still feel the same about it when I saw it. It's just, the, its capacity is, is, is boundless and endless. It's only you that limits it, it's, isn't it? Mm, mm.